Hello, hi, and welcome to today's uh, video. I promise this one's going to be quick, not like the 20 minute videos I, I used to make. Um, this is going to be on project backups on, on so-called uh, really project backups that are automatically generated by TR portal. I have got an example here, right? Got an example. So I've got this project here that on top, <clears throat> I've, let's assume I've been programming for weeks on this. It's a huge project. And yesterday it was 5 p.m. I was about to go home. I saved, I shut down the PC and today I get to work and I, I want to open my project. I open it and there we go. Oh, the project is broken. It could happen for whatever reason. You didn't save it correctly. Your server has, uh, you're saving the project on the server and there's an error in the file. Um, while saving on the cloud, you disconnected somehow or someone tinkered with it. Uh, someone deleted files. Many, many cases like why this could happen. It just says an error occurred while opening the project. Um, the project is damaged and cannot be opened anymore. Now I've been working for this for weeks. That's really, really bad. This message, you won't get that message in version 14, 15, 16. I have not gotten that message un unless I provoked it. In, in 11, 12, 13, I, this, this was a pretty normal thing to have every once in a while, which was very annoying for me. Um, of course, if this happens in industry, that's a lot of damage we've cut here. So there's no way. I can't, I can't do anything with this. If I try to reopen it, doesn't matter. I can restart my PC. Everything's broken. Um, here's what TIA Portal does. Whenever you program, whenever your program reaches a certain size, uh, TIA Portal makes an automatic backup. There's uh, seemingly no real reasoning behind when TIA Portal does it. I just know... If your project gets big enough, there's an automatic backup. If it gets bigger, there's even more backups. Like Tier Portal makes every every once and then Tier Portal makes, makes an automatic backup. You can also not change that in the settings or something. Not that I know. Not that I, I tried reading about it and there's no real information on it. <clears throat> Uh, but what Tia Portal does is the following. So here is my project folder. This is where the project is. So it's this path. You see the path? This is where I saved my project. And you can see I've got two folders. I have my normal folder. This is where the project sits, right? If I open this, this is where the project sits. There's the, there's the file that I can open. This is my standard stuff, right? And then there's this strange dot backup. It has exactly the same and it's called dot backup. Right. If I go in here, you can see there's two subfolders. So there's two backups. Tier Portal made two backups already in this project. <clears throat> I think the maximum is three and then it always deletes the oldest, but I'm not 100% sure. You won't find much information about it on the internet. Um, but doesn't matter. I, I always take the newest one. Now, this has a timestamp, of course. You see, it has a timestamp, uh, year, month, day and time. Um, and I think this here <clears throat> is the newest 21, that's 9 p.m. I think this is uh, the newest status, right? This is the newest status. This is a little bit older. You can also just, uh, uh, just of course, my Windows is set to German. That's how it is. You can um, sort them by date and then you just take the newest, which one, which is this. In here, I just have a zip file, right? A zip file or a... Um, or a RAR, an archive. I have an archive. In this archive, we will find two files. I will just unpack it here, right click, uh, unpack here, right? You can also double click depending on your program. And there's two files in here. There's the so-called PE data. The PE data, this is uh, basically the metadata of your project. This is the stuff, if there's an error in your project, it's in one of those files. Those can be used to recover your project. And I can take those two now. I can just copy them, copy, and I can go back to my normal folder, right? This is where my project sits. In this project, I can see a system folder. If I open the system folder, there you have those two PE datas, right? The PE datas, they sit here, not in this folder, right? But in the PE data folder here, uh, in the system folder. So those two, I can just quickly delete and now put my 
uh, right click paste sorry it said to german paste just paste in this folder and those are the ones that i have from the backup right those were the two that were hidden in the backup archive now they are in the project right? i have replaced them uh, i have replaced the once I used in my project so far with the backup. If I now try, this this was everything. If I now try to open my project here back in Tia Portal, I want to open it. <clears throat> Tia Portal looks into those PE data files and it sees, hey, this is this is one of the backup things, right? This is, hey, I, I know this. I know everything that's in there, but I need to adapt the project a little bit because the backup is, of course, not the most current state. It just makes backups every once in a while. So maybe this backup is already two days old, which is, of course, still OK, because I haven't lost all the progress from months. Right? Maybe this backup is also is from yesterday, so not too bad. And you see some adaptations were made. The device configuration of the PLCs has been updated, right? But now I can reopen my project so it's not lost completely, right? It's not lost completely. I have here HMIs, I have my PLC, I have my functions. Um, <laughs> now I would need to upgrade. You, can, you see, uh, it's a different uh, step seven version. The backup was actually done in step 7 version 15. Now I would need to save and reopen the project actually because it's an older version. Uh, I was not aware of that. I just need to reopen of course and then it will uh, hopefully update to the newest uh, version here. Uh, won't do that but that's a different story. <laughs> that's just because I used a different tier version. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, usually those wouldn't be here. This is just because my backup is still from an old version, which is not the standard case. Of course, you work in the same version. <clears throat> yeah. Um, this So this PE data is the really important stuff. And this is what Tier Portal does automatically. It does it automatically, those things, every once in a while. I don't know exactly when, but it does that. Um, just info on that. I've been reading about it and the official thing here. Let's open this up. There's the official um, the official link from the Siemens website and that's all the information. That's all the information that you have on those backup files. I just I'll just read it out because it's just like two sentences. Step seven creates copies from parts of older project data which are managed intra system by the TIA portal. No information on that. So every once in a while it does that. The TIA portal creates backup folder during configuration only after extensive changes have been made. So the bigger your project, the more backups you have. Uh, however, the files containing in it are not suitable for a complete restoration. So if your project is too broken, you can't repair it. That's how it is. Uh, this blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's still from older versions, version 10, version 11. Don't get any info on 15 here. Um, this is not suited for manual restoration. So what I just did, copy this PE data into the, arc, into the current folder, it's actually something you should not do. I always do it because, well, it always worked for me, but it's something you should not do. There's no guarantee it will work. If your project is really broken, um, then these uh, files, it's this one here. If your project is really broken, you should send the project, including those backup files, to Siemens, right? They have a technical support here. I will put the link in the description below. Um, and this is where you should send all the data. I always do this backup manually because for me, it always worked. Right. My recommendation, always try it first. Make a safety copy before you do that. Maybe copy your folders here, put them somewhere else. Now I have a copy and now I can tinker with the old version. Um, for me, it always worked to take the backup files and take the PE data, copy and paste into my system files here. Of course, no guarantee, but that's how it always worked for me. Good. Promise the short video, I'm still below 10 minutes, perfect. Um, so uh, one thing I'm going to annoy you in the future with is um, this GoFundMe that I started. So uh, you can see some people already, and I will thank those uh, in another video, some people already gave me uh, 
some kudos some credits here uh thank you everyone um just want to remind you everyone there's a link in the description below so if this was any helpful uh if you want me to continue forever and ever with those videos leave a tip right leave a tip leave a like on the video that's the least you have to do right leave a like on this video <laughs> right now leave a like uh, don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching and bye 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 bye